My name is Ken Hines. I'm the chair of Haringey Independent Stop and Search Monitoring Group. This week, we are going up to Alexander Palace to attend a Young People's Four Days Charity Boxing event organised by the Haringey Community and Police Boxing Club and sponsored by William Hill. My name is Kenny Marsh, I'm a police officer from Haringey Borough. I'm the chairman of the Constables Metropolitan Federation. I'm running the event that we're standing at now in the Palm Court at Alexandra Palace. This is the uh, Box Cup, where on a Thursday we have an international day for the youth of London, where they can engage with each other, they can look at the army, they can look at the police, you know, all the police things that are around them that kids don't see on a daily basis. Instead of Blue lights, bang, I'm being stopped. Harrogate Independent Stop and Search Monitoring Group is taking this opportunity, whilst there's so many young people in the palace, to interview them for our Stop and Search questionnaires and survey to gain a better understanding as to their views around stop and search encounters with the police. We're conducting a, a questionnaire and a survey about around stop and search, yeah. about people who's been stopped and searched or if they haven't been stopped and searched, what your views are. Yeah. So can I ask you, have you been stopped and searched? Yeah, of course. Um, it depends. Sometimes, you know, they're a bit um, nice. Sometimes you get police officers that straight away you can tell they've already dodged you and then they come with a certain attitude. Um, in, them, in, in them situations, yeah, I don't feel good. No, I don't feel... I don't feel like I'm being treated fairly. Your age? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm 15. 15? Yeah. And approximately how many times have you been stopped and searched in your um, life? I can't remember, but if I had to guess, probably 10. Okay. Please describe how you felt the last time you were stopped and searched. Um, it wasn't as professional as it should have been for police officers. Okay. And how do you know that? Because I do police bits. I know how you should be stopped and searched and what your rights are. Because you know your rights doesn't mean you cannot get into trouble or you can't get arrested. But if you know your responsibilities along with your rights, then I believe you stand a good chance of minimising the, 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 the chances of you being stopped, uh, stopped and searched and arrested. The police actually arrested me for no reason whatsoever. I'm not too sure why it all came down to a warning, and I believe they specifically target black youngsters, to be honest. If you ain't done nothing wrong, I don't understand why we're getting stopped and searched all the time. So we're here to conduct these um, interviews, as I said, to leave them empowered about knowing their rights. I can honestly say that I've been doing this sort of work around stop and search for the last 15 years, and I can tell you that for many of those years, I was disillusioned with the police attitude towards stop and search because there was no real community engagement between the police and the community that's most affected, affected around stop and search. My daytime role in the police is the chairman of the constables and I constantly get put to us, we are the reason why there isn't enough ethnic officers in the Metropolitan Police. We are not the reason why. I would love, passionately, more ethnic officers in the Metropolitan Police to balance what society we have. I've been put in a better place only in the last year with the new borough commander, Victor Alyssa, who's in the Haringey borough, and he has, he has restored some of my faith around um, that we can make a difference around stop and search. Yeah, what message would you give out to other young people um, um, about what they, what they should be doing or could be doing? I think uh, just find something, find something that you can do, work hard for it. I don't think crime is a, is a sensible route in any form. Harangay Independent Stop and Search Monitoring Group also has a website, harangaystopandsearch.co.uk. I'm in a Norway trip, but no one no, 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 can't trick me. I'm in a Norway trip, but no one, no, 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 no
certain antics on a people.